Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be another testing new makeup out. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I have some products here that I wanna talk about and I'm gonna leave some timestamps below just in case you wanna go ahead and skip to the application, but I'm gonna quickly give a rundown of what I think about each product. And the first thing that I want to share with you all is a fragrance and this fragrance that is new to me is by Skylar and these are the cute little bottles that they come in I actually have four bottles right here one is Pink Canyon the other is Owl Paradise and Vanilla Sky and these bottles retail for $85 if you do buy a full-size bottle they will give you a free discovery kit with five different scents and this company is is hyperallergenic it's eco-friendly and it's really good for sensitive skin now out of all the scents that I have my favorite is the Capri summer which would be this one and the notes are bergamot neroli and blood orange anytime I see that note I'm going to like the scent and this just has a very citrusy scent, very fresh and clean. So if you like those type of notes or if the citrusy notes really call your name, I would definitely say to go with um, that particular scent. I like to layer these. I think that these scents are really good for layering like Pink Canyon with Island Paradise. Excellent for layering. Now you all know that my daughter shares, shares a lot of stuff with me and her favorite is Vanilla Sky so of course if you like the vanilla scent that would be awesome but yeah I will leave the links below and thank you to Skylar for sending that out to me and remember that if you buy a large size bottle you do get the discovery pack for free which again you get five fragrances and as far as the makeup is concerned I did use the item concealer this is it right here and this particular concealer has like a full coverage I like it you will see in the video how well it blends out and how well it plays with the skin tint that I use speaking of which I use the bounce skin tint and I actually like this skin tint a lot I think that it is buildable but it's not buildable to a medium or full coverage by any means um, but the only thing that I don't like about it is the shade I think the shade is off I won't know for sure until I go out and take pictures in the sunlight um, to really be able to tell but so far other than that I really like this I also use the new makeup forever setting powder and I'm thinking that this shade may have been too light uh, the shade that I got it in is 3.0 so I might have to you know get a deeper shade in regards to that I also use use the new Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and I know that I am late to the party just like with the Natasha Denona Zendo palette I'm late to the party with both of these both of these was a gift this one was a gift from my friend Marlo and this one was a gift from my friend Courtney hey y'all and they sent these over to me and I really like both of them spoiler alert you know if you all know me you know that I love anything Natasha Denona and I was just really happy with these two products so with all of that being said let's get into this look shadow as you can see I already got my eyes and everything prepped you all know what it looks like it's very very pretty here are the shadows I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this shade right here and I'm gonna put it in my crease just like this and you all know that I absolutely love Natasha Denona. My friend Marlo sent me this palette. I was really surprised when I got it. I was so happy to receive it because anything Natasha Denona, I absolutely love. And this particular shade is blending out so very well. Okay, and I'm gonna bring it into the middle part or the inner part of my eye, just like this. And now that I have all of that blended out, I'm gonna take a clean brush and just kind of buff out the top or the edges. All right, and for my outer V, I'm gonna use this shade right here and I'm gonna use a different brush and just kind of 
gonna be a different brush and a little bit more narrow and I'm just gonna add it in the outer V just like this okay and the next shade that I'm gonna put on is this one right here and I'm just gonna use a flat paddle brush okay let me apply this with my finger and see if it goes on a little bit better and this is actually a pretty shade I really do like it and for my inner eye highlight I'm just gonna use this gold right here Okay, and I think over, like right up in here, I'm going to add this shade right here just to see if it does anything. I don't know if it will, because it's like a really light shade. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see something, but not really. I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I used to apply that, uh, that brown chocolate shade and just kind of blend all of that out. And for my lower lash line, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Killer Liner in Gingerbread and just kind of line my eyes. All right, so now that I have all of that applied, let's get into this Bounce Skin Tint. It comes in a box like this. The shade that I have is Tan 5, and this is supposed to be a long wear tint, weightless and buildable coverage, brightens and hydrates. Okay, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> and you all know that I absolutely love Beauty Blender's uh, complexion product. I have their setting mist. I also have their foundation, and I also have their powder. Powder. so I absolutely love their complexion products so is this plastic no this is glass so yeah it has one of the little droplet droplet things like this which I don't like I think they're so messy but we are gonna keep it moving right we're gonna keep it moving so I'm shaking it up this is the consistency of it so it doesn't appear to be thick. You all know how I am with products that are thick on my skin type. Okay. And this is the shade that closely matched me in the store. And I'm thinking this is a good shade. I don't know if it's going to be buildable or not, but we're going to see. And I don't know if it's going to oxidize or not either, but we're going to see. <laughs> so it did say that it's buildable. I'm not sure if it is. Of course, I haven't added a second layer yet. I'm just kind of going off what I'm seeing now, and it is super thin and I don't even know if this is the right shade so let's add a little bit more since they say it's buildable let's see if it's buildable I'm going to use this brush again I think it may be buildable but it depends on how this is going to dry down if it stays like really dewy like this then I don't know if this would be buildable because it's looking like super hydrated and I'm not sure if it's drying down or not okay so this is where we are right now let me go in with my sponge and just kind of get the excess off All right, so it, it's looking like it is buildable. I'm a little concerned about the shade. I don't know if I'm looking gray. Under the lights, I feel as though I'm looking gray, but I'll be able to tell once I go out in the sunlight and see what it's looking like. 
I actually like the way it feels and I also like the way it looks on my skin. All right, so next we're gonna go in to the concealer. This is Item. This is Air Hug Concealer. And the shade that I have it in is shade 310. Comes in a box like this. And it's neat the way that you open the box. This is how you open it up. So and see it opens up like this. I thought that was kind of cute. So yeah, let's see what's going on. So you all know that I like the highlight under my eyes. So I'm just going to add it under here. And I think this is supposed to be medium to full or it's supposed to be buildable. And so far it looks to be playing well with the skin tint. It's not lifting up or anything like that. And I'm really hoping I'm not looking gray because so far I like this tint. And this concealer is blending in so well, y'all. Alrighty, so I have all of that applied and now I'm going to go in with a little bit of contour, cream contour. This is what it looks like. All right, and I'm gonna go back in with my sponge and just kind of blend that out. All right, so got that all applied. And to set my under eye, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild powder. Okay, now for my setting powder, I'm going to use my new Makeup Forever Ultra HD setting powder. comes in a box like this and you get a little powder puff, which is black. Very, very nice. This is it. Here's the shade. And it looks really good on the skin. And I'm gonna go in with my Cover FX Face Palette and use this shade to bronze with. And now for a finishing powder, I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill Luminous Powder. Comes in a package like this. And I'm just gonna add that here. Right here. And on my nose, and for a highlight, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back into this Cover FX, um, and I'm going to use these two shades right here. And for my lower lashes, I'm going to add some mascara, but only a little bit of it. And for lips, I'm going to use this Too Faced Matte Liquid Lipstick and a Sephora Stories Lipstick. I'm going to use this one to line my lips with and use the orange just kind on the inner part of my lips and let's hope that looks right. All right, got that on the outer part. Now let's go in. This seems very dark and vampy. All right, so I'm gonna go in and put on some eyeliner and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back with the eyelashes on and as you can see, I did change the lip. The lip that I had on before was just a little bit too vampy. I always feel as though if I go heavy in with the eyes, then I need to keep the lip a little bit more muted or a little bit on the subdued side. So that's what I got. Um, now I'm gonna go in with this Airbrush Flawless setting spray. This was gifted to me by Courtney and I'm so happy. I have been dying to try this out and I get a chance to try it out with you all. So, cause I've heard so many good things about it. Let me go ahead and spray it. Mmm, I like the sprayer. 
as well. It feels really good on the skin. So yeah, I really like this. It feels really good on the skin. I did have to give it a little test to see the longevity of it, but I'm sure it's gonna be good because I've heard nothing but good things about the sprayer. But this is the final look, you all. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these, and if so, let me know what you think about it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until my next video, smooches.